What's up, YouTube? So, uh, today I'm going to do an unboxing video. This is the Inya Nova Go. It is a carbon fiber polycarbonate uh, guitar. And it is listed as half size. It's kind of a travel guitar. Uh, right now, they're on Amazon for $199. That is as of today, when I post, or you know, whenever I post this video. Uh, why am I getting this guitar? Because, uh, you know, it's allegedly impervious to the elements, you know? So, like, uh, hey, look, some extra strings. That's nice. So, like, you can leave it in the car, you can take it to the beach, you can play it in the snow, you can play it when it's 100 degrees outside with 100 humidity. So, like, uh, I figure I get this thing, leave it in the car, beat the hell out of it, play it outside all day, every day. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it works out. So, uh, I'm going to give you an honest review and, you know, my thoughts on what it is. Is it worth it? You know. How's it work out? So, right off the bat, I'll tell you, this gig bag feels very nice. It's uh, not hard, but not soft. It's definitely rigid. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. I've seen a few videos on this, and I just wanted to give my honest perspective. So, the inside of the case is felt. <laughs> At least now it is, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, it's got a nice neck strap here. They packaged it in the cheesecloth. Before I, uh, there's a little pouch right here. Velcro on it, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what's in here. <laughs> so, oh yeah, these guys right here. So, these go on the strap buttons, and you can use the strap for the case for a guitar strap, which is pretty cool. It's a nice padded strap, but I'll probably just use a regular guitar strap and keep the strap on the case for slinging over my shoulder. Uh, what else? I guess this is a, yeah. It's a guitar wipe off chamois cloth dealio. That's nice to have. Oh, and a truss rod wrench. Uh, these things do have a truss rod. Uh, from the reviews I saw, they come pretty well set up from the factory and being the material they're made out of, they shouldn't move much, but if you feel you need to adjust it, it's there. So, got a cheesecloth, nice cheesecloth. We'll uh, get the case out of the way for a minute. say that it's got a good amount of weight to it. Uh, I see the scale's like 23 inches, so that's like a parlor guitar kind of, so it's not really a half size guitar. Um, the body may be a half size, but it's pretty, it's all one piece. It's kind of less Paul shape there. The neck, uh, the body, even the bridge all molded as one piece which is cool uh, 
Uh, it's got some pretty cool mushroom strap pins on there. I will probably put some kind of goofy sticker on the headstock. It's got decent looking tuning pegs there. I kind of dig them. Uh, I like the shape of the headstock. Uh, yeah. So, uh, let's tune this bad boy up and see what's what. We'll say it feels solid. It's hefty. Kind of tough for me to get over that it, you know, it's plastic basically, but it's uh, fancy plastic. All right, I got her all tuned up. <clears throat> Just a few things uh, I noticed while tuning it up. The tuners are really nice. I dig them. Like they're uh, they don't feel loose or cheap in any way. Like they feel really good. Uh, it's got a zero fret and a string retainer. This little jammy right here, it's uh, the truss rod cover. It's like rubber and it pops out and pops back in, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's got a sound hole on top just for you. Well, that's the main sound hole. That's where most of the sound comes from. It's got the cool logo sound hole. Uh, I did check out the action and stuff on here. Uh, the action's a hair high. I mean, for a 23 inch scale, it's not bad. I might shave the saddle down a little bit, but the neck is right where I like it. I mean, it's, it's straight with just a hair of relief. That's the first time I really strummed it. I haven't, uh... So, it sounds really good, man. It's, I don't know if you can hear it. It's still sustaining. Uh, so, right off the bat, I'm going to say the neck is cool. Like, reminds me of my SG. Like, of course, the body style is like a Les Paul. Uh, it feels comfortable. It doesn't feel half size, you know. Uh, so maybe I'll play a couple little, just whatever, just so you can kind of hear it, and we'll see what's what. So, I really like it already. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna play it outside. I'm gonna play the hell out of it. I'm gonna bang the shit out of it. It's got really nice frets too. I mean, the fret ends are rounded, perfect. Uh, Radius fretboard. Like I said, it's all one piece. Uh, carbon fiber, polycarbonate, composite, whatever that means. Uh, but I dig it, man. Yeah. It's <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a lot louder than I expected it to be. So I'm gonna say, man, for 200 bucks, right out of the box, this thing is awesome. Uh, it's definitely met my expectations. Uh, so I'll give updates too, man. Like I'll, I'll like play this in all the elements for like a year. And uh, maybe every few months I'll uh, give an update or I'll just play a song on it and maybe just say a few things about the guitar during that video. But uh, I think for 200 bucks, man, you can't beat this. And if you're like teaching a kid to play, this might be the best student guitar on the market man, because it's just... It's pretty rugged feeling, pretty tough, man, and it's like comfortable to play, just fresh out of the box. It's comfortable to play. Like I said, you might have to trim the bridge down. I mean, just little sandpaper would take you like 10 minutes uh, to make it perfect, but uh, I mean, it's pretty damn good right now. Like. I'm gonna give this thing like uh, five stars for the price range and uh, playability, and it looks cool, it sounds cool, uh, can travel with it, don't gotta worry about it getting beat up, you know? Uh, so yeah, man, I'm happy with this thing. So it's the Nova Go by Enya. And this is in no way a uh, paid ad. I bought this myself and I just wanted to give an honest review because sometimes you can't always trust, you know, everything you see on YouTube. So uh, hopefully this helps somebody out and, you know, buy one if you can. They're uh, added to your collection, man. It's pretty cool. I've wanted a carbon fiber guitar for a while and this is like, in the perfect little price range for a travel guitar, man. This is like half the price of most other travel guitars, and I'm uh, I'm impressed. So, thanks, dudes. Hope somebody gets something out of that.